Hello lovely people, welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name's Kate. We are actually in my library today and we're going to continue our series of organizing all the books and the bookshelves in my house. This is video four of bookshelf organization. Video one was unhaul. We got rid of books, hence the gaps. Video two was counting all the books and see if I'm a legitimate library. Book um, video three was organizing the shelves in my living room and setting them up. And today's video, video four, is the shelf. So this is the before. Um, they are a little bit crazy. Um, they're, they're needing a lot of work. Um, so we're going to go through the shelves beforehand. We're going to go through and look at what we're taking out. For example, all the Harry Potter stuff is going into the other room. And we're looking at the new shelf I have for this room. So let's do it, shall we? So we're going to start at this door. Well, I'm standing at the door. We have this little cube shelf here, which is fit for purpose at the moment, but we definitely need to fix it up. We have my desk, which I have moved recently. And then over here, we have the beautiful shelves that need a bit of a facelift. So we actually have four shelves all up. So there's um, three big and a little. We have heaps of stuff on top and everywhere else and we also have my reading chair and then over here is my new shelf which is going to go in but for today for this video anyway we are going to start by taking all the Harry Potter stuff off because funny enough a little bit of inception for you I'm filming this at the same time as I'm doing the living room one because it's it's an all-in-one process so if it ends up being a little bit wonky that's why but today's one we are well start off we're going to actually move this chair first so that we can get to the Harry Potter shelves we're gonna move this beauty out of the way so we can get out the door um a duh. and we're gonna move all the Harry Potter stuff out of the library and put it into the living space because we are making a nerd space so let's start by moving the stuff and then we can continue on Woo! I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave. I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea. I just want to say that I feel that our love is real. Maybe we should hurry up and seal the deal. is now out. I'm going to start taking these guys off the shelves um, and start putting them out on those shelves. So if you haven't seen me bring out the Harry Potter stuff and put it on the shelves in the living room, I'll leave the video link down below for you, but let's do it. people it is quite a few hours later and I have done a bit of a costume change I had to put my overalls on I just felt that more comfortable um what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a, a little bit of a reshuffle of everything so I'm gonna take all the trinkets off they're gonna go on my desk and we're gonna reshuffle these books I kind of want to fix up this guy in the corner him because he's at a like a turn but 
I don't think I want him on a turn. I'm not sure. Um, I'm thinking. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, I have a bit of reshuffling to do. So we're going to do the first things first, which is get the trinkets off and we'll just go from there. So let's do it. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright.
two of this bookshelf um, redo. Um, my hair is a mess. I'm just embracing it. I'm probably going to put a headband. Actually, I'll go do that now. Okay. I am now dressed. I have some makeup. I did my hair in cute little buns. Just trying out new things to make me like my hair. So, <laughs> um, I'm going to put the trinkets on the shelves. I'll actually give you a bit of a overview of the shelves so far because it's probably going to shuffle like these going to shuffle out that's going to move like there's going to be some bits that are going to shuffle around so and I'll show you what I've done with the romance shelf let's look shall we so I've got so far I've kind of put dark romance on this end one here and then this guy we've got um Sarah J Mass all the way across I've tried to put authors together um, and if they're hardcover or not. So there's no specific order. Like this guy here is all witchy books. I think I need to space that out a bit more. I feel like these guys here need to go onto the other shelf just so it sits a bit better. My classics is looking pretty good. I do need to space that out a little bit more. And then I've got my paperbacks and hardcovers down the bottom as anchors. I've got graphic novels. But yeah, there's nothing at the top at the moment. So I do need to decorate that probably. I'm probably going to leave it until like I've run out of room. But <laughs> this is my desk situation. Like this is all the stuff on my desk and then on the top of this shelf here so if you look on this shelf it's just all the stuff from um the living room and then i've got the romance ones with a bit of room so yes so that's it so far i'm going to start putting some trinkets on the shelves and clear off my desk so that i can get to it because it's a bit <laughs> full right now like it took me a while to find my headphones this morning but anyway I'm going to do a little bit of a shuffle as I go um just to work out what needs to move especially like the Sarah J Mass stuff I might space it out a bit more and that kind of stuff and like for example this is Beauty and the Beast it needs to be in the Beauty and the Beast section so yes let's do it shall we let's cue the montage cue the montage For too long, I don't know what else to do. I wanna get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. I've been thinking about my options, every detail in my head, but it doesn't really matter, nothing matters, so I cry instead. Nothing left 
than that shelves I've cleared off all the trinkets from my desk um, I've hung up some stuff and I'm loving it I am so happy with how it's turned out obviously there's some little bits that I'm just going to have to like fiddle with for a bit um, but there is room to expand now like down here there's this whole bottom shelf here is uh, books that I want to sell so that's a whole shelf um, I have some self-destruct books on that side. Oh, there's just so much room. Even on my romance shelf, there's room. And because I've stood them, well, 99% of them up, I actually have room to grow in this library. And I'm so happy. Um, I think it helped that I got rid of those um, books for the unhaul. Again, if you haven't seen it, I'll leave it linked down below for you. And up above if you're watching this on your computer. Um, but I am so happy. So, so, so happy. Um, yeah, I just can't, can't wait to show you guys. I am going to do a whole shelf tour, um, of all my shelves in my house. So you are going to have to wait for that. I'm sorry. Um, but I want to make sure that everything is perfect to show you guys and I know it's probably not going to be like a hundred percent perfect but as as like close as I can get that would be really nice um so yeah I will give you a quick overview of in this room um just so that you can see yes there is a little bit of mess still like on the floor here there's some rubbish um but the shelf's done they're done it has taken two days but they're done Mind you, I still have like another whole room to go, but you know, who's counting? Who's counting, right? 
let's start from the top shall we so i did end up putting um, my bags up there and some trinkets that just didn't work quite on the shelves but i'm quite happy with how that turned out and then we have my classics section moving into large paperbacks and some hard covers i just love how this turned out and then we've got Sarah J Mass across the two shelves there. We also have Fourth Wing, Dark Academia, big hardcovers, special editions, going down to um, paperbacks. And then finally at the bottom is graphic novels. Let's shuffle over. Then on this last two, we have the rest of Sarah J Mass. Then we have some shorter hardcovers independently published and then we have some witchy books that continue into the next section with some hardcovers and then like I said we've got poetry and miscellaneous um, books normally just literature um, and then we've got self-destruct and then right down the bottom is the ones that I'm selling and then we've got here if the light will let me look hello Hello, Aperture. Thank you. Um, and then we have like our dark romantic, dark romance paperbacks and mix. So I've got Jennifer L. Armentrout up the top. And then I've got Scarlet St. Clair mixed with Arlene Ardler and Donna Fletcher. And then underneath I have Tate James. Um, then we've got Kimberly Lemmings um, and Meredith Wilde. Then moving down we've got um, some more really and then finally we have J.R. Ward and Chris Lee Cole and then right down the bottom we have journals and book sleeve on this side we've got my top books of the year so far yes there's a little mirror there can you tell I hung that up as well as the pin um we uh, well I made like a little station there and then we've got my journals that I use all the time within reach then we've got um really romance and authors together and then we've got more including Tessa Bailey and then right down the bottom we've got Christmas, Halloween and short paperbacks and I have room people. Um, the little stack of books there are the ones that I'm going to donate as well but and my desk but that's another video. So that's it people this is my update. I'm very happy with how it turned out um i have so much room in here now that i moved the lounge out because i just wasn't reading in here that's why it's out in the lounge room so hopefully you have seen that video now um yeah i'm just oh ecstatic anyway i hope you have a wonderful afternoon morning or night wherever you are that you keep on reading you keep the magic alive and i'll see you next time you wander into my library bye